Welcome back, MTG Joe here with another deck tech for the new Magic set, uh, Zendikar Rising. Uh, it'll come out on Arena on September 17th. I will be participating, as always, in the early streamer event on the 16th, next Wednesday. Um, from there, we'll be playing against a bunch of other awesome content creators. Uh, best of one format, so these deck lists right now are best of one. Um, they're intended to be a starting point, stuff I want to test out throughout the format. If you do have any suggestions for this deck, or any uh, deck you'd like to see, or any cool decks that you've built yourself um, that you'd like to potentially have played uh, during the early streamer event, uh, do drop a comment on the YouTube uh, video below. Um, I'll be on Twitch all day Wednesday from about 1 p.m. Eastern uh, straight through to the evening, uh, probably around 9, 10 p.m., uh, playing a bunch of Zendikar on Wednesday the 16th. Uh, so jumping into this one, this is a Azorius Mill deck. So blue-white mill. Mill is referring to when you force your opponent to have cards from the top of their library go into their graveyard. Um, blue-white, it's basically a blue deck with a splash of white for board wipes. So jumping into it. So we have a couple creatures that stimulate the mill condition. We have Ruin Crab which is a functional reprint of a original Zendikar Crab. Uh, landfall, so Landfall is a, new, uh, a recur returning ability. Whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control, each opponent mills three cards. Um, so what we're trying to do here is basically just playing through your land drops, you're gonna mill out your opponent. Uh, we have Merfolk Secret Keeper. Uh, for one mana, you can mill your opponent four, and then it becomes a zero four creature. And then Overwhelmed Apprentice, one mana, one two, that mills two and you get to scry two. Uh, these creatures also serve a good purpose of slowing down your opponent. They're pretty good bodies, an 03, an 04, even a 1 2 against early uh, aggro, just to stop your opponent from dealing damage to you. Um, you're not going to have to kill your opponent through traditional combat, so we want to take them out that way. Um, the card that I'm most excited about, uh, Maddening Concophony. Uh, probably misspelled uh, saying that. So two mana, it mills your opponent eight. But if you pay its kicker cost, so the kicker is an additional cost uh, in addition to the two mana. So in this case, it's got a kicker of four. So for total for six mana, instead you mill your opponent half of their library, whatever's left in there. So early game mills eight, you draw it late, you mill 10, 20, 25, 30, depending, hopefully you're not playing a Yorian deck. Um, so now moving on, oh, we have a uh, couple of support cards and kind of I'll explain through that. You have Teferi's Tutelage. This is another way to mill your opponent. Uh, kind of a reoccurring mill uh, plan. So three mana enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you loot. So draw a card, discard a card. Then whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two cards. Um, so we have a bunch of our removal effects that do draw us cards uh, and kind of our hate pieces. Really this deck's to annoy your opponent is basically what I, how I tried to build it. So one of the cards is Confounding Conundrum, a two mana enchantment that when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. So it triggers the Fairy Stutelage. Um, and then it's an interesting way to hate on opponent's lands. Um, in one way, like with Uro, uh, any of the kind of extra ways to put lands into play, Landfall is very popular in this set. So it's a way to punish those decks trying to put extra lands into play. Um, so whenever a land enters a battlefield under opponent's control, if that player had another land enter the battlefield under their turret, to, uh, control this turn, they have to return a land to their hand. So say they play Uro, they have three mana, they play Uro, they play an extra land, well now they have to bounce a land to their hand. If they cultivate, they have to bounce a land to their hand. So any kind of these effects, they bounce a land to your hand. And a way we can actually get our opponent is we're playing three Field of Ruins, which I'll get to in the mana section. So Field of Ruin means that another land could enter the battlefield. So you basically set your opponent back a land drop while just filtering through your mana. And it also thins out their deck further, uh, depending even if they don't have any basics left in their deck. If they're a greedier mana base, you can get them kind of two lands in a way that way. Um, into the Royal. Uh, so this is a reprint card. Uh, so it's effectively a bounce spell for two mana. And then if you kick it for four mana total, you get to draw a card. Again, uh, with Teferi's Tutelage. A lot of what we're trying to do is just have your opponent cast the same thing over and over and kind of go from there. Uh, we're also playing four Shatter the Skies, pretty much our only white spell. Uh, if we had a sideboard, I'd have some white cards like uh, Glass Casket, stuff like that to deal with uh, aggressive decks. 
Um, Shatter is really here to slow down your opponent's board state and allow us more time to mill. Um, we have Teferi, a couple Planeswalkers, and some more support. Teferi, Master of Time, uh, another way to reoccurringly draw cards, discard, sort through your deck. The phasing can be useful to get rid of an attacker for a turn, and then you have the potential of taking extra turns to just further the mill. Uh, that paired with Teferi's Ageless Insight, whenever you draw a card, you get to draw two cards instead. Works really well at Teferi. And um, as Magic Aids, a YouTuber, uh, pointed out, there's actually a really, really cool interaction between Teferi's Ageless Insight and the new Jace Mirror Mage, Planeswalker. So Jace, first off, has amazing art. Uh, one of my favorite arts in a long time. Um, so Jace is a Planeswalker with Kicker. So basically, if you kick it for two mana, you get to create a copy of Jace with loyalty of one. Um, so it's plus one is scry two, and then has a zero ability where you get to draw a card and reveal it, and then you remove counters from Jace equal to that spell's uh, converted mana cost. How it works with Teferi's Ageless Insight is because there's a period, basically, in Jace's uh, effect, those are two separate actions. So you draw a card and reveal it, but Teferi's Ageless Insight is an instead so it's a replacement effect. So you would just draw two cards off Teferi's Ageless Insight. So Jace basically becomes zero, draw two cards, don't lose any uh, loyalty, which is really, really powerful. Um, finally, uh, we have one of the flip lands. Apologies for the lower quality on this one. Some of the uncommons don't have huge, like super high resolution images right now. Uh, Salundi's Vision. So basically, you have the choice of casting this either as a spell or it enters the battlefield as a tapped island. Um, or tap blue source. Uh, three mana, look at the top six cards of your library, you reveal an instant or sorcery from among them, put it into your hand, the rest go in the bottom of your graveyard. So it's just a way to find like any of the spells that we have up here, um, including Mano Mano eh. Maddening Cacophony. The, this one is going to get me so many times when we play. Um, and then finally, uh, the lands. So eight islands, three field of ruins like I mentioned with uh, the con confounding conundrum. I'm never going to say these words right. Um, you can kind of get them that way. And then all our white sources are based on tap lines, so they all add blue. Uh, we have scry effects, life gain effects, and then just more cycling to gain uh, card draw that way there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's Azorius Mill, uh, basically mono blue splash white mill um, for the new Zendikar set. As I mentioned on the onset, if you do have any cool decks you'd like to suggest, anything you'd like to see me build, I have a number of decks in the queue that will get similar deck tech treatments. Additionally, if you like this new format for the deck tech, do let me know as well. I tried to go a little bit more detailed on it, uh, just focusing on the cards themselves. And uh, if not, hope to see you on Wednesday the 16th during the early streamer event, and uh, we can test these decks, see how they work. Uh, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Stay safe out there, and have a great one.